Hello YouTubers, uh, Traz here, back playing more uh, Factorio. And uh, last time we put in the uh, locomotive and uh, train wagon production. And uh, between the last episode and this one, I've uh, put it to work. So, uh, yeah, it's about time I think we start filling the train. So, um, <laughs> uh, things got a little out of hand. Um, here's the train. We have 20 locomotives at the front. Uh, that will give us approximately a 1 locomotive to 10 car ratio. Um, maybe it's 1 locomotive to 11. Actually, it's not even that. Um, we should have, I think, 202 cars. Uh, but I've also put in requester chests, and right now they're only requesting one item, although uh, they get filled with four, because that's how many the bots can carry. Um, so we got the basic ores, although, I mean, technically was not an ore, but it's something you <laughs> collect with your pick. So we got uh, wood, coal, stone, iron, copper, or uranium ore. Uh, then we have a bunch of uh, liquid wagons here, and this will be for oil, uh, you know, oil that you pump out of the ground, heavy oil, light oil, petroleum gas, lubricant, um, sulfuric acid, water, and steam. I don't think I'm forgetting any. Um, then we have this will be uh, like the rest of this then I went in order uh, that the items are in the crafting menu uh, so we got uh, chests and then uh, liquid tanks uh, we got the belts here and splitters and inserters electric poles what do we have here pipes that we obviously aren't making yet pumps uh, then railroad things um, are we making those I don't think we were making those they might have just been trashed out of my uh, inventory at one point uh, then here's trains which we set up last time <laughs> to build this train um, we aren't yet making the artillery car uh, then we have the car and tank. We got some robots and the logistics chests and robo ports. Lights. Um, circuit stuff. We aren't making this. Obviously, was trashed out of my inventory. Um, yeah. Power switch. Uh, speaker. Bricks that we are importing and also putting into chests at the moment uh, concrete refined concrete landfill I'm hoping this will insert correctly I believe it should uh, we have yet to make uh, that's cliff demolition explosive not exactly sure the what do they call it cliff explosive uh, so then, then the pole here indicates hey that's the end of the first group of our uh, first tab of items and then we move on to the second tab with picks and repair packs um, boilers and steam engines and related paraphernalia as soon as the auto save finishes uh, which would be turbines and solar panels and nuclear reactors and heat exchangers and heat pipes and then uh, we go on to the miners which also probably uh, came from my inventory because we're not making them at the moment uh, offshore pumps pump jacks I don't have no all right <laughs> there's only one pump jack I uh, didn't realize how much it scrolled. I thought it had two for a second. 
Uh, then we have the furnaces, followed by the assembly machines, which we are making, uh, followed by uh, oil and uh, oil refineries and chemical plants, centrifuges and labs. Uh, finally, the beacons and modules that we are already making. And then we have another uh, large power pole indicating we're now moving to the next tab. Uh, this tab is interesting uh, somewhat because the first thing here, the first whole row is only really one item, which would be solid fuel. Uh, the rest is the oil liquids that we would have already had in the... Um, uh, <laughs> liquid cars, liquid tanks, fluid tanks. Uh, so we then start off with the next row here of wood, uh, then the plates, and uh, solid fuel, uh, steel, uh, plastic, plastic, sulfur, batteries, and explosives. Most of these we already are importing. I don't have them being put into chests yet. Um, not sure why this is here. It's not like it's actual um, <laughs> separator of groups. So I'm gonna have the bots remove that. Then. Um, we have all these liquid barreled liquids uh, so I am actually planning on having them so we got uh, oil I have to move stuff to the other side because there's more room um, that's heavy light uh, lubricant gas it's purple <laughs> Uh, then acid, uh, followed by water. Apparently you can't barrel steam. I was not aware of that. Uh, then we have wire, uh, which also probably came from my inventory. We're not making it yet. Um, iron poles, or sticks, I think they're called. Gears, just empty barrels. Uh, green and red circuits. Blue circuits, engines, electric engines, robot frames, uh, satellite, and then um, rocket control units. I always want to call them computers for some reason. Uh, then we got the low density structures and the rocket fuel, um, nuclear fuel. Obviously now we have the U-238 and uh, 235 and 238 um, and the nuclear fuel cell as opposed to the trained nuclear fuel. And then finally the empties. Uh, empties are actually going to be well, <laughs> going to be hard to make unless I import them. I mean I'd have to set up a nuclear setup here. Then we have the science packs to round out that group. Uh, finally, we go into the military and we have the various guns and shotguns and flamethrowers. Actually, that's rocket launcher. That's the flamethrower. Mine. The different ammos. Uh, shotgun shells tank cannon shells and then uh, a trailer shell and rockets and the flamethrower fuel and grenades and uh, cluster grenades and then the uh, poison and slowdown capsules I'm not don't use them often, so I wasn't sure which was which. Followed by the uh, distractor, destroyer, 
Defender, Distractor, Destroyer capsules. And uh, then Discharge Trigger and Artillery Targeter. Discharge Defense Remote and, yes, Artillery Targeting Remote. Uh, then the various armors. Solar panels and other uh, armor modules, etc., etc. And then finally, walls, gates, uh, gun turret, laser turret, uh, flame turret, artillery cannon, radars that obviously also came from my inventory. Uh, rocket uh, silo and finally fish <laughs> fish can't really be automated I actually uh, like there's been various lakes uh, that I've been filling in and I've been trying to fish the lakes as much as possible um, And that's actually quite easy with a deconstruction planner. And you actually get several fish for each fish you fish. <laughs> several fish items. Um, maybe five, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I also put in this large field of roboports, and in fact, uh, I've doubled the amount of roboports uh, down here. I didn't notice, but these are off by one. That's interesting. Uh, so, I'm going to have to take a new blueprint uh, with these additional roboports. Uh, so that we get more coverage and hopefully the bots will be able to charge faster and won't bunch up like they were. Uh, but before we do that, I'd like to actually start uh, filling the train and uh, seeing how well we do. now. If I did this correctly, let's look at wood. I apparently have not done this correctly. <laughs> um, where did Well, we probably have a lot of wood um, in the chests that are over here. Uh, we have a thousand wood. And if you look in the bottom right, it says a thousand. There's 500 some odd here. I'm not sure where the rest of it would be. Um, I'm going to set this to 100, and this to 100, and uh, this to 100, and you to 100. I wish I could copy and paste, but that would copy the item as well. Now, assuming this is correct, hey, we do have a fleet of bots coming our way. In fact, uh, 150 or so. So I'm going to uh, put down some stack inserters. And... Uh, 
bring some power over here. And start having these fill up the train. <laughs> Let's change that to 500. So that the second starters won't like load it up in a few seconds and then run out while waiting for more bots to come. Now how are we doing? Now we have... Well, about 500. <laughs> I do want to also get these trains, uh, but that will need to be nuclear fuel. Uh, so, uh, we since we don't have nuclear fuel production yet, that will have to be some other time. Don't need two. Alright, let's do something similar here. 500. And an arm. Well, <laughs> let's stop there for the moment. Five hundred. Five hundred. That's going well. It's just going to take a while to fill up. <laughs> Yes, that I did. Saving again. That is a nice site. We have over a thousand bots now coming to collect all of these and well they're kind of grouping up but it's not too bad. That's why I put these in a nice grid pattern. The original line here wasn't exactly matched up. Um, let's continue just a bit more. 500. 500. 500. 500. I didn't miss this one. Yes, I did. 500. Five hundred. And then... Oh. Well. 
All right, and we are producing more logistics bots, or at least uh, putting them into the network now that that uh, robo port that they were being inserted into is getting cleared out. And hey, since we're here and we are producing the power poles. Let's get these done as well. Yeah, we don't need those on. All right, so not I'm not sure if much if or how much if all of any of these like the wood I'm don't think is getting put into chests um, so that I may have to fix oh <laughs> wow So production should be kicked on to high gear and you can see the gears are being used but are being redistributed as is the design of this bus. We got some circuits being used and uh, some red circuits should also yeah slowly <laughs> they're only used for the blue splitters at the moment so that's pretty good how we this is just cranking away All right. Um That should be enough for now. Do we have what do we I mean we can do the concrete. Let's <laughs> All right. Uh let's go down a little bit here. We are doing the locomotive stuff. So let's let's get that or some of the locomotive stuff. This will be fun. Don't need two. Um, these I'm gonna do to fifty, not five hundred, because they stack in uh, much smaller groups. That actually should be ten stacks. I'm wondering if the bots can carry four of these at a time. We'll find out. Let's actually see if... Um... Oh, yeah, here they come. Um... <laughs> They're barely getting here and then flying away. I think they are carrying four at a time. All right. Oh, that's already almost full. Look at that. Yeah, 50 is like a whole... <laughs> whole row. Uh, let's just leave the power lines out here. And we'll do the bots and logistics chests. And then uh, 
with the concrete at the corner and uh, move on to something else. Now these are filling in rather quick. Oh yeah, look at everybody streaming away with uh, multicolored chests. They should be arriving now. <laughs> so this should really start pulling from all sorts of places on the bus, but It hardly looks like it's... well, okay. Uh, I was going to say it hardly looks like it's affecting it. Uh, but then I saw this. But we're actually still... doing decently. Uh, Roboport's... could be balanced better. <laughs> um that will not entirely break things but let's see if this helps if we get construction bots to actually here we go. Build that. Alright, let's split her now. Any moment now, unless unless we've taken all the splitters and put them on the train. This is going pretty good. The getting quite full. Gotta, gotta remember to take more from these lower gear belts because obviously we're taking almost everything off of these first set of gear belts at the moment. Either that or have some crossing belts to refill. Uh, 23, yeah, I bet. These are all reserved for the logistics bots. Uh, some of them are running out of power, but hopefully... Oh, this area... Yeah, doesn't really have any... Um, Roboports, the... I had some leftover ones here from when the networks were connected that I repowered into part of this network. And 
They look just about the right distance. But some of them are running out of power. I don't see any at the moment, but a few were uh, running out of power just as they got here. Okay, here we go. Cecily's putting some on the other side, and we're getting some from the first side here. So that should be a bit more steel. So this can run a bit quicker. <laughs> you can see our production uh, going way up. I bet we've uh, sent some trains off to get more materials as we're using quite a bit right now. We got two pull-offs here and one here, but then I don't really have many others that are pulling off this inner um, that's train stuff. Actually, speaking of train stuff, how are we two hundred? I, I'm guessing that's how much. Yep. <laughs> So they were being produced probably quite rapidly for a short bit, uh, but since they don't stack as much, doesn't take quite a All right, we are at the cap of logistics spots, and we're using about a thousand. Let's um, get these being loaded and then. Move on to something else. Uh, probably next episode I'll start off similarly, uh, but after this I kind of want to basically set up production for something and then uh, get it being put on the train in, you know, <laughs> in the same episode and then uh, move on to the next thing. So that uh, everything, as we make it, it gets put on the train. Let's set this to 500. 500. 500. 500. And 500. And these should be easy. We should have at least a thousand of each. Okay, that works. A little too close that way, but that works and I'm fine with that. Um, Alright, that'll work too. This, this will be interesting because all of these are down here, oh, except for the uh, landfill, which is over here. And here comes the bots. <laughs> Yeah, still got lots of electric poles and chests flying all around. These are... Well, these are starting to fill up. These are going to take some time. Although, it looks like the earlier types um, are made more... Well, not that they're made more quickly, uh, but because <laughs> we're filling up here, like all the fast inserters being pulled so the stack inserters 
can't be being made because there are <laughs> all the fast inserters are being pulled away. But that will that'll change in a few minutes when this fills up. I mean, it probably only has 400 more to go. Yeah, so they're putting on a conveyor belt and then into this chest, but they're probably being pulled. Oh, there's, there's 200 there. So these are running, or were. There they go. Yeah, it's just they're being pulled off of this chest. I wonder if the logistics networks claims them that they can't be used by the machine. All right. <laughs> um, that's an well. It's almost enough for the train of the train for now. I do want to make sure we're filling the raw, uh, raw the ore, <laughs> the raw ore, and we'll get these items next time. Ah, there we go, even though I'm only doing about 40 UPSs. Spent certainly helps. Um, let's go back a bit. I'm gonna copy that. 200 or four stacks because it's only 200 if they stack to 50. Uh, should be good for that. Well, these may stack to 200 or 100. Stack to 100, so it's 400. So that's pretty good, and that's not a. Uh, line that we're really pulling from at the moment so basically I want to come in and for each of these train stations um, make something similar to that so we're pulling the raw materials off the trains and or off the inbound trains and putting them into a chest so that they can be put on the all item train. And I'm using the corner here just because it will allow us to fill the chest twice as fast. I'm in my own way. This we're kind of pulling all lanes from at the moment, but you can see it's starting and stopping, so this should still not slow things down. It's by no means pulling as quickly as it could be. <laughs> Almost forgot to limit that. Uh, definitely circuits are the one of the things you don't want to completely fill a chest with, seeing as they have relatively high cost. Um, green circuits aren't too bad, but red and blue circuits definitely use a lot of resources, so you don't want to unnecessarily... Uh, throw them in chests where they may not get used. 
Although in this case, I mean, I don't want a full train car sitting there and a full chest because a full chest is actually bigger than a full train car. Uh, which is why I'm only having the requesters on the train car uh, request 500 in most cases because that would be less than a train car amount by should be a good margin although you saw with locomotives and uh, other train cars items that's not necessarily the case all right we're down to the smaller train items and these will have to uh, go over here okay for these it looks like we'll already have power Although in this case, um, let's let's put it right there. Hello, stone train. Ah, you're coal. Or you will be. Alright. Oop. <laughs> I forgot I had two of these. They'll be back in a few minutes. We had actually already copper... Uh, from this uranium train. I don't think we had a full uh, stack. Uh, speaking of uranium train, we need some raw uranium ore. Uh, right now the uranium, yeah, uranium's cut off because yeah we have 105,000 U238 and 45,000 U235 uh, which is quite a bit more than we want to deal with at the moment <laughs> uh, that will change when we start actually producing stuff with the uranium but uh, that's not going to be this episode And uh, there's no trains for this at the moment. And I'm going to make this station solid fuel. Uh, and we're going to import it from our, our, our current uh, 64 refinery oil plant. Uh, but not at the moment. But that's all set up now. Uh, this has taken <laughs> a bit longer than I thought it would. Um, I was hoping like maybe the first half of the episode would be filling the train with stuff. And then we'd uh, move on to setting up some new builds. But, um, well, this is how things turned out. Let's just... That should be 
better now, and the coal will be momentarily. That's filled, filled, filled. This will get filled to just set it up. Filled, filled, filled. These are probably. This is filled, not yet. Almost. Almost, uh, about half. About a little more than half. That's filled, filled, filled. Filled, filled. Not quite, no, not nearly. <laughs> uh, that's almost filled. Filled, 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 filled. That's great. These are filled, 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 filled. All of these are filled. We're that's you know and their chests are almost filled. These second ten, so I'm gonna say that's filled. Uh, yeah, it's double what the locomotive is. So and. I'm guessing these go up to 4,000? Why are you only 16? There should be a lot of you. There's a thousand there. Uh, I guess, I guess we're just... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, well, we got about 15 minutes left in this episode. Our updates per second are only about 30. Let's zoom in here. Uh, my updates per second, just by turning on my recorder, drop by like 5. So, it, it does play a little bit better when I'm not recording, though, not much. Um, just before I started recording, it was flickering between like 50 and 55 updates per second, I guess, depending on what was going on in the rest of this world. But yeah, now with all the bots moving stuff and recording, I'm only getting eh, 30, 40 now. Hey, look at that, 42. All right, um, I did set up some lines here. And, um, well, <laughs> we should probably start going through this in order now. Um, although, um, I forgot we hadn't done these yet. I did start, well, belting in. For pipes and pumps. So, uh, <laughs> um, ooh, that is wider than I thought. Oh well, that's fine. Let's leave a little room. It's funny, I didn't hear the normal sound when you plop down a uh, blueprint. Not sure why that is. Uh, we'll just have this come over here. Boo! <laughs> oh, I see, they lost power. Alright, let's power you up. Stick you down there. They all flew over. Uh, these are actually put down with a bit of a charge uh, so that you do see the area. But uh, apparently, as they were about to charge or started charging up, it ran out. So everybody then, I guess, flew up to there, which was the nearest robo port. Okay, uh, this is a bit of a crazy design, but <laughs> it takes two lines of iron plates uh, that go to six separate uh, pipe machines, 
that are speed weakened and also have a single speed module each but the rest are efficiency modules because well if they run any faster <laughs> we would need more than uh, two iron belts uh, but the elbows here take uh, 10 pipe uh, six machines fit around they just operate twice and we'll have a little extra left over um, in fact these two machines are will output the normal straight pipe to these chests while also feeding the central one um, and then the central one uh, central one the curved underground pipe also takes some iron plates so we're pulling them uh, from the leftover and uh, this should do more than 60 curved pipes a second and more than 60 straight pipes a second as well. Look at that. We're up to 63,000 plates a minute. And uh, well, we're, we're doing about the same ore a minute, obviously, uh, because my smelters don't actually have productivity modules on them which is one of the things I want to change in the future I'm doing about 12,000 copper similar amount of stone and similar amount of gears we don't have as much coal mines yeah all right let's uh let's hook this up and uh, see what happens. All right, it's uh, running. I'm gonna say it's running full blast now. It's going pretty good. Let's check the numbers if it was just that easy all right there's a straight uh, curved is over here we're making more than two a second uh, it's actually still increasing and it looks like we're making wow almost well 1.2 thousand straight a minute although a lot most of that is going to the curved but the curved is now oh yeah this is going to be way higher than that because let's see if we do five second we're doing over 450 underground and 2.8 thousand straight a minute so yes this <laughs> surpasses our stated goal of 60 a minute at minimum you know obviously this is a very big build uh, it's just most of them the ones I'm doing straight because that's the most efficient way to beacon them uh, now this uh, putting them all around the underground uh, allows for direct insertion so uh, you can get that number way up and I think we actually filled whatever the yeah a hole <laughs> and then these will run a bit uh, to finish off filling the chest here um, we actually only have a fast arm here so that most of the output does go to the underground belt production underground pipe not belt uh, the other thing while we're here we should do pumps that go along with the pipes so I will uh, okay yeah that is still in range drop that down Let's move everything over here because I had miss 
estimated the width of that. modules but they're flying in here Are we uh all right that looks good still got about 600 bots <laughs> moving items into the train Uh, but I think we're ready for this. This is ultimately building uh, liquid tanks and uh, pumps. It used to be called small pumps. Uh, but the pumps need engines, so there's pipe production and engine production. Alrighty. These normally take three seconds to build, but they're at 400% crafting speed, so that should be more than one a second, assuming it gets all the materials it needs. And then we got pipes and engines and steel <laughs> coming in here. So, apparently, I have this also producing engines, but, um, I've actually designed something else to produce engines, so let's not count on that. Alright, um, let's get rid of pipes. Here's... Why are you only 21 a minute? Where's our, uh, pumps? Why don't I see... Show me... Here we go. A hundred a minute. So that's good for the pumps. Um, let's... Alright, I gave him a second iron plate uh, inserter. Alright, now he's going at 64. It's toggling between 56 and 64, so that should be, I mean, right on, uh, you know, one a second, 60 a minute. Um, you can see it was at this rate, and it's increased, oh, not quite doubled, but quite a b bit better. So I think that counts as uh, one a minute, one a second, 60 a minute. And obviously more speed beacons won't do it any good because uh, it's waiting on materials. And uh, since this is a final product, uh, you can't um, productivity it. You can't even productivity the pipes even though they're used in a lot of other things. Otherwise, I would have. Um, anyhow, uh, we're approaching the end of the episode here, but uh, 
Yeah, all of these are still cranking away. <laughs> these are still going. But you know, hey, we're we're holding up and like like the gears are back to being backed up. You know. And even they weren't totally uh, out. It was mainly just like one side was being pulled. So most belts still had items on the other side. Um, so since I do want to now um, load everything onto the train as we make it, uh, let's do that with the items we have just started producing. And... Uh, See how we can hold up to some uh, constant production. Uh, they should be down this way. Let's zoom in because that, well, I was going to say that seems to help, but <laughs> as I said that the UPSs went back down. Um, so we'll start here. 500 500 and 500 we'll be back in a moment to check those out uh, but the liquid tanks are down here next to the standard chests um, 500 as well let's just uh, use map view as that oh here we go back up to uh, almost a thousand surprise there isn't I'm, I'm guessing you know what it would be 500 for each except we probably don't have 500 of each item so only as many uh, bots are in use as we have actual items but we're starting to have bots deliver all these Looks like some are stopping along the way to charge, but hey, that's what all the robo ports are there for. <laughs> yeah, that's dropped to almost zero. We do have another 400 here, which are now starting to be taken. Uh, we got a few bots taking the storage tanks. Uh, we only had a hundred of those, though, so and uh, yeah well <laughs> the uh, pumps are also being taken so how are we doing on the well gears aren't being pulled too much uh, iron plates though <laughs> iron plates are doing okay And then, uh, yeah, it steals fine as well. <laughs> so, uh, that's pretty good for this episode. Uh, hopefully, next episode we'll get to uh, build. A bit more production uh, but we will fill the train with some other things that we have ready um, 
mostly it's going to be well it's going to be the assemblers here and then uh, all the modules that will be interesting that will be sucking up a lot of our circuit production and then anything else that like the plates and stuff that we have readily available um, and then we'll move on to more production so uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time with more Factorio I can't actually believe how long the old item train turned out to be although um, I should have expected it each car is seven tiles long meters long and there's well 202 cars and another 20 locomotives so I believe that's something like uh, <laughs> a little over a kilometer and a half see you next time